Hi guys, I decided to make an RPG game because RPG is my favorite category and this is the first part of the devlog. I hope you enjoy it. Let's begin. I used Core Editor to develop this game. If you ask why I used it, it's very practical and easier to do things in this game engine and it's a really very good game engine. It's also powered by the Unreal Engine. The general story of my game is to defeat all enemies in the dungeon and save my imprisoned friend. So I imported a PC AI kit from community content to the project. I will use this to create our enemies. At the same time, Core Editor has its own rich object library. The there are really a lot of cool and different things to use in it. After that, I did some research to use the NPC AI kit because I'm using this for the first time. After understanding its logic, I added a monster to my scene and bingo, the monster can attack me. It works very well. So I need a health bar to see the health of the player. I found one from community content and added it. After adding it, it directly connected with the player and I tested it, it works very well. At the same time, it changes in color as health decreases. Then I added a level system. This will show me the level of the player. As I kill monsters, I gain experience. As you know, one of the most important parts of RPG games is the inventory system. So I found a system for this and added it to my scene. I guess there is nothing more enjoyable than looting items in games. I can hear you say yes. Then I used the ready-made chests to test the system. And now I can loot items. I can also equip my character with weapons and armors. Sounds very good. Now it's time to prepare my map. I thought a dungeon would suit this game very well, so I found dungeon tiles for this. After reviewing all models, I decided which models to use. Designing a map in a game is quite a difficult task for me. In order for beautiful things to emerge, it's necessary to think creatively. Some things need a little effort to make them beautiful. Having different sections in dungeon maps is always more effective. For this, I tried to make the map carefully. If you don't like the map design part, you can skip this part in the video. After the map design part was finished, I walked around the game for a while. Even walking without enemies is really fun. I have added places such as a library to the game to use in future episodes. There will be things such as doing quests and finding items in the game. And I will make the prison where I will go to save my friend in the next video. Now it's time to add our enemies. As you know, skeletons are indispensable characters of dungeons. So I added these skeletons to a few places in the scene. Now the last job is to defeat the enemies. Everything is ready and we have completed our first devlog. Thank you for watching me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the continuation of this devlog. See you in the next video. But it's too late now. I remember you and me. And how careless we yeah. be. All day and all night. We'd stay up. It felt so right. We were so young, we were so dumb We would get drunk and then hook up We were okay, we were alright Staying awake till the sunrise We were in love, couldn't stop us Like a good drug, yeah. never us. We hook up in my car, driving so far Play your guitar, you'd show me your wrong Let down our guards, think with our hearts Stare at the stars, we were never apart Drinking too young, way too much fun Out in the sun, no pain when it's gone Took you to prom, dance to our song Dance all night long till the lights come on
It's too late now. I remember everything and how careless we could be. And how careless we could be.